In this video, I'm going to tell you why the Google Chromecast with Google TV is the best bang for buck streaming device. This is the main Google Chromecast dongle. It has a HDMI connection at the top. It has a reset button and it has a type C connection at the bottom. It comes with a type C cable and a power brick. The controller has directional buttons, back, voice assistant, home, mute, a YouTube and Netflix button that can be remapped, a power button, and an input source button. It also has volume buttons on the side that could use infrared or use HDMI sec to change the volume on your TV. The controller uses AAA batteries. Overall, the control feels really nice in the hands and it matches the same color as the dongle. The main screen displays shows and movies that are trending and might interest you. It shows suggestions from all the popular streaming services. It also has filters at the top for movies, shows, your apps, and your current library. It has all the popular streaming apps like YouTube, Netflix, Disney+, Hulu, Twitch, and so on. You can even download Apple TV if you are in the Apple ecosystem. Both of these Roku streaming devices are cheaper options, but I wouldn't recommend them because they use the Roku OS, which is less versatile, and they also don't have Bluetooth, which means you can't connect your headphones to them or a gaming pad. Now, both of these options are pretty much the same, but there's one main difference. The Google Chromecast runs native Android TV, which means it's easier to modify, while the Fire Stick runs Fire OS, which is harder to modify and requires more steps. Also, since the Chromecast runs native Android TV, that means it will get the newest updates to Android TV before anything else, like the upcoming Stadia integration that lets you stream games and play them. I personally wanted a cleaner interface, so I downloaded Wolf Launcher. It's a custom launcher that changes how the home screen looks. However, when you click the home button, it still takes you to the original home screen. You can use the app button remapper to remap any of the controller buttons. In this case, I remapped the home button to open the app Wolf Launcher. Now, whenever I press home, it'll take me to Wolf Launcher, which is my custom home screen now. A clean and simple to use interface without all the ads being pushed in front of you. Here, I'm using the Switch Pro controller, but any controller with Bluetooth would work. Let's give it a shot. You can pretty much play any retro game. There are many emulators on the Play Store that you could download and just find the rounds from some other place. It plays pretty well. There isn't really any lag when using a Bluetooth controller. And yeah, it works just as intended. If you want to play more demanding games, I recommend getting something like an Nvidia Shield. This device could play really demanding games with the Tegra X1 chip. It is the same chip found on the Nintendo Switch. You can connect any Bluetooth device for audio. You can easily pair them through the settings. The Bluetooth audio doesn't have any noticeable delay. You can see it through this test right here. Overall, I really like this product. For $50, I don't think you could find anything better in my opinion. It could do everything you ask it to do. It can even emulate any retro game and it is easy to customize. I just wish it had more ports, but that could be fixed with a Type C dock just like this one. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.